Hey, welcome back, you beans, to another video here on the channel. How are you all doing? Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Welcome back to another how to video. We're currently on the server that I'm doing my play Let's Play series, the Complete Arc Saga. You can join that with all the details within my Discord. You can join the Discord with the link down below in the description. Uh, today's how to video, I'm going to do a beginner's guide and showing you the best ways to hatch eggs. We're going to be doing the quickest methods, really, but I'll talk about a few other things as well. So, first of all, each egg that you will hatch, obviously, you need a male and a female together they will mate you'll either do this by enable mating or enable wondering they'll mate and they will lay a fertilized egg you will need a fertilized egg for this you can't just get the dinos to lay an egg like this this is argentavis egg and it's not fertilized now you can't chuck this down and expect this to hatch up because it's not fertilized uh, that was a mistake that i made definitely i thought that any old egg lying around was going to give us something but no it's not the case you need a fertilized egg so what you need to do is add a male to a bunch of females or to a female these love heart symbols will apply and then after the mating time has gone to 100 percent they will lay an egg you can take that egg in your inventory put it in the fridge if you don't have anything around you at the time and then uh, you want to try and chuck that into front of something that will incubate that egg now incubating the egg these are three of the main methods people use uh, campfires if you're really early game you're hatching dodos and stuff like that use campfires just a bunch of campfires or you can use standing torches these give off a better heat radius you'll hatch eggs a lot quicker than that if you're at the point of electronics this is the golden standard air conditioners they will basically allow you to do both um, high temperatures like hot temperatures as in hyperthermal and hypothermal some eggs like to be hot some eggs like to be cold the air cones will cover all radiuses. If they're like hot, that's fine. If it's still not hot enough, so say we have two and you chuck down an egg and it's still saying it's too cold, just chuck another air con in. And the same if it's saying it's too hot, it needs to be cooler, chuck another air con in. Golden standard is if you've got four air cons, that's enough to hatch anything in the game. So now we've talked about that, let me pick up these air cons real quick so they don't interrupt us. We've got some Giga Eggs here. Now, these are already pretty much incubated, but it's the best way to show you how this is going to work. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to chuck down this Giga Egg, and it will tell us that it is too cold, as you can see, under the timer, the spool timer, and the health will start going down. Okay, so to make this less cold, you will obviously put fire down. So, we're going to put some wood in. So, we're going to light these three. Now, on a smaller egg, so, for example, a Dodo Egg, this probably would be enough fire. Uh, but for this one, I doubt it's going to be enough. We're going to chuck it back out. And as you can see, oh, it is actually incubated. So three campfires was enough to finish this off. Now, I'm using S+, Plus, so it's already uh, pretty much incubated because of the hatchery that we've got. This is another method, standing torches. These put off a lot more heat and a lot easier to craft than the campfires. You can put them in a circle like this, light them all. We're going to chuck in an egg. And it should say, okay, now it's too hot. So uh, we've gone the wrong way, but this is quite easy to remedy. All we've got to do is basically put out some of these fires. Okay, in this case, it only wanted three, as you can see there, and now it's incubating. So that's another way that you could do it. Uh, this is the most common with Dionicus eggs. So if you're on, if you're on Valgiro and you manage to sell yourself a Dionicus egg really early on in the game, this is the preferred method to hatch them. Normally, about 10 to 15 will hatch it, depending on your rates. And obviously, you'll have to wait for that incubation time. But like I said, the golden standard are air cons. Now, air cons will hatch pretty much anything. Uh, you could add four air cons maximum. We're going to chuck out this egg right now. And as you can see, it's perfect. In the radius, even if you're over here, the air cons have such a huge radius. We'll chuck this out, and it's still incubating, which is amazing. So there is one more way that I haven't spoke about that... Is an alternative way to hatch eggs, and it's without using technology. It's actually using a creature. These little guys here, the Dimetrodon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but these act like air cons. So if I pick up these air cons right now, there's nothing else in here, and we've got this Dimetrodon. And what you want to do is you want to level up Melee as much as you can. Let me chug this out. As you can see, it is incubating it right next to them. So these act as walking air cons and will have the same effect if you get a decent level then it will pretty much hatch everything. If you don't have a decent level, you just want to keep pushing up melee. I'm going to chug this guy quite close. Let's try again. There we go. Incubating. It's got to be right next to them. But still, the heat off these guys 
will allow you to hatch eggs. Now that is, I think I've given you four methods to hatch eggs. Hopefully that has helped you with this beginner's guide. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like button, subscribe to Q&B, and I'll see you in the next episode of Fantastic Day. Bye! -bye.